Yes, what's happening everyone? Today I'm here with Berus and I'm going to show a technique from Mount, a, a gift wrap to take the back. Okay guys, so I, I'm going to show this technique from Mount. So first of all, I'm here in the Mount. What I like to do from this position, for this specific technique, I like to go chest to chest with a cross face and an underhook. And also at the same time, personally, I like to grapevine his legs. This is what I mean by grapevine. When I grapevine, I control his legs with mine, like this. So look guys, I'm here in the mount with the grapevine and a cross face. I like to fight for the underhook and here slowly, I can put my palm on the mat and I start to walk my hands all the way till his bicep touches the side of his face. Now from here with my crossed face hand, I like to grab his tricep and secure it with my face. Now using my head, I, I push it in front of his face and with my free hand that was the underhook, I come behind his head and now I bring his wrist into my hand and straight away go Kimura grip. Now I have entered into the gift wrap position. Now my next goal is to make Barus become sideways. In order to make Barus become sideways, I'm gonna enter into what's called technical knot. A principle that I like to keep in a lot of positions, Kimuras, in the gift wrap, also in my back control, I never hold my thumbs like this. My thumb must always be next to my fingers in what we like to call monkey grip. Here, you'll be a lot more powerful, have a lot more flexibility, it makes a lot more sense. So now, I must make Berus become sideways by entering into technical mount. To enter into technical mount, I'm gonna bring my left knee high and bring him sideways, push it behind his back. My right leg, I'm gonna step on my foot and bring my foot to his belly button. Now I bring my chest behind the shoulder, pushing him forward, making sure that his back cannot touch the floor. Berus, try to make your back touch the floor. You cannot. So next, my job is to now take the back. So as you can see, my foot, now I'm going to push it against his back and do what I call ballerina toes. Here. Now I'm going to sit on my bum, keeping the controls tight, bringing Berus over me. And now from here, I'll put my two hooks in and secure the back. After you put your two hooks in, it is up to you to do whatever you like. You can go body triangle, you can go one hook in, one hook out, two hooks in. You can start to attack arm bars from here. You can start to attack many different things, many different things. So let's go over a recap one more time. I go chest to chest. I go very deep cross face and I also grapevine the legs. My left hand, I find an underhook. I keep my palm flat on the mat and I slowly start to walk up until his bicep touches his face. Now I control tricep with my right hand. I swap my head to the opposite side and I push, bringing his arm in front of his face. Now from here, left hand, I go behind his head and control his wrist. Now with my right hand, I grab my own wrist and enter what I like to call the gift wrap. Now from here, I must enter technical mount in order to make Berus become sideways. I bring my left knee high to his back, my right foot, I step on the mat, and I bring my heel to his belly button. Now I put my chest behind his shoulder, and now from here I do what I call ballerina foot, and I push it onto his back. Now I sit my bum on the floor, and I bring him all the way over me to the opposite side. I put my two hooks in, and I get my points. After my points, I can do whatever I like. Body triangle, one hook in, one hook out. Start to attack submissions. Switch the control. It's up to you. Thank you guys. Uh, I hope you like the technique. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And please comment below what technique you would like to see next. Us.